What's up guys? Welcome back to Bohol, Indonesia. We are just getting packed up this morning. It's about 7 a.m. We got a really nice motorbike rented for the day and it's gonna be a really great day, guys. We're headed out to go see the Tarziers at the Tarzier Sanctuary. We're gonna go to the Chocolate Hills. We might also go check out a waterfall. Good morning, Laura. And it's gonna be dope. Let's go, guys. Here at the entrance of Tarzir Sanctuary. And I gotta say guys, the infrastructure of Bohol is amazing. The roads are so smooth, they're wider than anywhere else I've seen, and it is super beautiful. You can definitely tell you're on an island here with all the beautiful lush trees on the side of the roads. What do you think, Lara? How much is it to get in? 50, I think. 50p, one US dollar? And these are the guys we are here to see. Look at those eyes. Guys, I think I'm gonna love this place just because you have to be quiet and the nature sounds are gonna be so beautiful. After this, yeah, you go there for the rules. Oh, okay, yeah. Just give me 120. Let's cock it, it'll do this. So we just paid 60 pesos to get in, just over one US dollar. And now we have to hang out here because there's an orientation so we can fully respect the Tarsiers. So inside, we are not allowed to feed them because they will hunt their own food. So they eat insects like rickets and grasshoppers. The biggest size of a tarsier is like this, a human fist. So the baby, like a tongue. Their eyes is bigger than their brain. They can turn their head 180 degrees side by side to tell a 360, but their eyes are still. So the Tarsiers live up to 25 years old. They've got super long tails for balance and they can jump up to five meters from tree to tree. So I guess they're named after their leg bone because they can jump so far. They're so soft and gentle, I would never imagine them jumping so far. It's 15 feet. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Are these full grown adults? Are they full grown? I'm okay. Do they get bigger? I don't say this. I'm okay. 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 okay, so we're done. It's honestly a super small area. And the Tarsiers themselves are way smaller than I expected. They're only like a handful in size. I thought they were gonna be quite a bit bigger. But we got to see like five of them. And yeah, they were so cute. And here we have the elusive Tarsier. So apparently the Tarsier area here is quite large, but the viewing area they have is just back here and it's, it's really not that big. But I'm not complaining, it was super cool. Majestic, very majestic. Let's go, Laura Croft. I have a pee. Just like that, we're off again. Very, very quick stop, maybe 30 minutes, and it took us about an hour to bike here from the starting location, and we got about 40 minutes more to get to the Chocolate Hills according to maps.me. Holy crow, guys. We just stopped off in this little village called Lobak or Labak. 
and there's this absolutely stunning bridge going across the river here with really beautiful river boats down here. The water is like greenish hue and the city itself has like a lot of historic looking buildings to it. It's absolutely stunning. This is such a pretty town. Bahul, you're blowing me away. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's official, guys. I love Bahul. Onward we go. Almost to the Chocolate Hills. We used a little over half a tank of gas to get here and to fill it back up, it looks like it's about 135,000. The landscape getting up near the Chocolate Hills has been so flippin' beautiful. The sun's shining, there's fields of grass that are so green and the Chocolate Hills are around us now. And the town that we've been going through are super nice. There's not a crazy amount of people. There's not a ton of traffic. It's just a beautiful place. Fifty pesos. Yes. And then bring us some extra water because walking 220 stairs going up. No okay. 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 Yeah, one water. Uh, how much? Um, yeah. How much is it? Fifty pesos. Two? I think one would be fine, sweetie. Yeah, there's no water on the yeah. top. Yeah. Thank you. It's official. We're here. Alright, guys, we're at the parking area at the Chocolate Hills. And look at this around me here. It is so absolutely breathtaking and the official lookout point is up this hill right here. You got to walk up these stairs and then we should really be able to see the full landscape around us really, really well. Let's go. So the lady that we bought our entrance ticket to sold us a bottle of water for 50p and she used these stairs as her selling point. She said 250 stairs to the top, no water up there. And it was convincing, but uh, now that I'm going up, I, I think we would have been okay. We did it. You. It is smoking out today. Worth it? You tell me. Prime photo spot. We just took some selfies here and this handrail is like so freaking hot right now. It's probably the hottest part of the day, close to. I think it's a little afternoon or something. Kind of lost track of time. But I think we got the amazing selfie here. 
at the Chocolate Hills. I have to say, Bohol has been the most beautiful of the places we've been so far. Just absolutely stunning. <sighs> I don't know if video can do it justice, but I'll try. Back down we go. I could probably still... <laughs> These steps are so damn small. The handrails are, are nice. But I could probably stay up there all day. Laura and I just got to this little pizza joint here in town. There's a vegetarian pizza. I'm hoping we can do it without cheese and just a lot of vegetables. Let's see how it goes. Yep, I think it's turning out quite well here. Laura is ready to devour this, and so am I. So this little pizza joint we're at is called Basak Bistro, and it was only six US dollars for Laura and I both to eat and get filled up. If you guys are going to Chocolate Hills, this is in the town just before it when you're heading north. Definitely stop and see our friends at Basak Bistro. Rice field, really? Basak yeah. is a rice field? Yeah, and you know, Bistro is small cafe. Thank you. All right, guys, we just got to the entrance, well, a two kilometer walk to Pahangang Twin Falls. I just butchered that name, but I'll put it on the screen. Anyways, this was the, the falls I was hoping to get to today and we got enough time. The battery died at the end of the last stop there. The lady at the pizza joint was like, thank you for vlogging, next time you come back, I give you free pizza. I was like, awesome. Maybe I'll be back in a couple years. But uh, anyways, we got totally off the beaten path coming over to these Twin Falls. We had to go on to some pretty interesting roads, but it wasn't that bad at all. It was still quite nice. I've definitely been on worse roads in other Southeast Asian countries. I think Bohol in general is just really, really amazing when it comes to roads. And the lady told us to stop and walk because it's really slippery and she was telling the truth. You know, I thought, you know, they might want you to park there so you buy stuff from them, but this trail is definitely not great for biking. So, two kilometers to the falls. Got a little entrance fee here. All right, so that's actually a bit of a trek getting down here. If you're not very sure-footed or are afraid of slipping down a bunch of stairs, maybe this isn't for you, but if you are up to the challenge, this is your reward. Pretty dope. That was such a nice way to cool down after the other activities of today. It's about 4.30 p.m. now though, and we gotta hike back up out of here. It'll probably take about a half hour. And then we got a good hour, hour and a half drive back to our Airbnb, so we don't wanna be driving in the dark for too long. So we will see you guys back in town when we're grabbing some supper. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. We made it back. Now we need food and then we need rest. Oh my god. Lara. Oh my god. Got nachos and pad thai. You know where we're at. You don't want to be in the outro? No. Oh, all right, that is it for the vlog today, guys. The food hit the spot. I also went and got some garlic peanuts at the 
local corner store, Rona, is here. I, Rona runs the place and she's at the cash register and I say, I only shop at Rona's and she says, thank you. <laughs> but anyways, what a cheap and amazing day. So we rented the motorbike for 400 pesos. That's $8. It was a dollar a piece to get into the Tarzir Sanctuary. It was a dollar a piece to get to the viewpoint of the Chocolate Hills. We spent six bucks on the vegetarian vegan pizza. And we spent 40 cents a piece or 20 p pesos to get into the waterfall. And then we spent a total of $4 on gas to drive like 150 kilometers. I think we ended up being on the bike today for like five to six hours all the driving around, then we spent about four hours at the various places. But yeah, that was a full day. It felt really good to shower getting back, and then the food, I haven't been that ravenous this entire trip, but that was definitely our biggest adventure so far. And she's in the outro! <laughs> but yeah, it was a great day. Tomorrow, we're not 100% sure what we're doing, but we think we're gonna take a ferry back to Cebu City and we might be hopping on a 14 hour ferry to Shargao Island. So I really wanna head out over there. Apparently it's like a big surfer island, but I've just heard good things and it's probably super chill vibes. Hopefully some good food and it sounds like an adventure to get out there. So hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace, Pikeys. You.